So our periodic inspection is done every 10 years. Um, and during that, we have to do a deep drawdown. And so we draw the lake down 55 additional feet. And that's in addition to the 77 feet that we draw down every winter anyway. That provides us access to the intake structure. And what we wanna look at during that time um, is the condition of the structure, including the gates, including the stems, and later the tunnel itself, where the water flows through and continues the Gauley River. So last time, uh, 10 years ago, we replaced the grating on top of the structure, which will be our trash racks. It prevents uh, debris from going into the dam itself that we can't then do anything about. So those were replaced, they're um, strong still. So this time we're gonna be replacing these filler valves. And so we have three filler valves, eight inches in diameter in each of our intake gates. So those will be removed and replaced with brand new ones. We're also replacing all of the hardware that holds our stems together. And what the guys are doing right now is getting ready to pull one of the stems. We plan for two weeks, we hope for one. Um, it's been done in one week before, but again, different things are done each time because what was needing attention last time doesn't necessarily need attention this time. This is Muddledy Creek. They will be at Homney Creek and they've already done Salmon Run. They'll have to do Battle Run. So all of those um, have no wake zones associated with them. They're about a quarter mile long. A lot of these sites, um, even more so than this one even, are remote. They're very difficult to access and so a lot of prep work goes into making sure you have the right tools. Um, you have all your PPE, you have your food and water for the day. To get here with all of the, the equipment and tools that they need, you know, they're, they're about an hour um, in and this is the muddledy permanent buoy anchors, Hominy permanent buoy anchors will be even, even farther in. Um, it's, there's a big cliff line there, you gotta find a way down, which is, you know, kind of good luck if you do. We just happened to 10 years ago find that route down. And so terrain like this is very common, um, even, even more so with rock cliffs, depending on which area of the lake you find yourself. So these rangers, you know, are very tough. Um, they have to be prepared. They are assessing the condition of our permanent buoy anchors. Um, they're not accessible at normal winter pool. And so what they are is a big tub that's filled with concrete um, that keeps our no wake buoys in place. So this is just as important as any of the other safety items that we're addressing during this deep drawdown because it's a public safety issue. Where we are right now is the end of Muddledy Creek. Um, this is where it flows into the lake itself and the, you can see the main channel coming right there. And so what they've done here is locate the original permanent anchor, um, assess the condition of it, is the aluminum still in good shape? You know, can we still attach a cable to it all the way up um, to the buoy to float at summer pool? And so they, they're crimping aluminum sleeves, um, which secures the cable back to itself in a loop. And then we'll do the same um, on the buoy side of it. So we have cable at the permanent anchor all the way up to cable at the buoy. So it's a very secure system. Um, it makes the possibility of losing a no wake buoy very slim, if not nearly impossible. Um, there, there are a couple that were damaged during the summer, um, so, or the winter from the freeze and thaw and laying on the ground if they got cracked and got water in them. So they brought that one to replace it. So it'll definitely float the cable up. The other thing that they've done is upsize the buoy. So that one is a little small and the cable's pretty heavy. So they knew that this one was either missing or low, like it was just floating low. And that's even more dangerous than missing because boaters um, would be very likely to miss it uh, in their own vessel and then hit it with the prop, um, could cause significant damage. So this is, this is important work that they're doing. The importance of this work is for, for public safety. And so in the summertime, when we're back at our normal pool level, um, these anchors will have cable to concrete all the way up to the buoy. So those are um, very difficult to cut unless you have cable cutters. They can't be pulled because they're permanently anchored in a 300 pound buoy anchor. And it makes this area past the buoys a no wake zone and so it is safe, safer. 
it's it's a very new unique period right now um you only see it every 10 years and so it kind of has this moonscape about it and the public they've been all over the place and they're really digging it um and and we do too you know this is something very cool about our jobs and not everyone can say that they they get to do this you know we work for a wonderful organization and we we serve the public well with what we do um we have a good dam here at Summersville.